<laughs> Welcome guys to my very first video. Let me drink some water because I'm kind of nervous. So for my first video, I wanted to do an apartment tour because what better way for you guys to get to know me than to see my place, you know? Something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now, but I don't know. I think I was just being a scary cat. It's just one of those things that you just finally decide to go for one day. So here I am. I'm super happy to be here. Now, before I get started, I did want to say that our apartment still needs some work here and there. Um, you may notice some plain areas or some plain walls. But so far, I am super happy and grateful with what we've done with the space. And just can't wait to show you guys all of our cute little Pinterest-inspired spaces. So let's just go ahead and get started. So as soon as you come in through the door, this is what you see. This is our entryway and you can see a glimpse of our living room over there. And right here to the right side, we have our coat closet where we just keep a lot of our coats. And then moving along over here, we have some slippers out for our guests just to keep our floors cleaner and so that they can be comfy whenever they come over. And then this is the water heater or boiler room, whatever you call it, but it's locked and we never go in there. And right next to it, we have the laundry room. And I love this little narrow cart, which helps me keep all of my washing supplies neatly organized. Okay, so now we are in the kitchen part of the apartment, one of my favorite parts. And so let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna start on this side of the kitchen. So right next to the fridge, we have our coffee and tea area. We have our coffee grinder, our kettle, and then over here, we just keep some of our cups, coffee mugs, and teacups, some breakfast things. So right next to this area over here, we have this nice built-in shelf where we just keep a couple of pieces that we like. And in this basket, I just have like some of my cookbooks and um, juicing books. And over here in this little corner, I like to keep some fruit out. And we have this plant over here that surprisingly is low maintenance. We don't really have to water it too often and it's thriving even though I don't know what it's called. And then of course on this side over here, we have the basics, microwave and stove. Over here we have a little candle. I like to have candles all over the apartment because it just makes me feel really relaxed and gets me in a good mood. Over here, we just have some cooking utensils. And moving on to this area over here, we have the sink. So hand soap, dish soap, and then a bar soap. And on this side over here, we have storage where we keep our plates. And over here, right under, we have some fresh flowers. I like to keep some flowers around the apartment, some fresh flowers every week, just to add some character to the place and some color. And right here in the middle of the kitchen, we have our little dining table that's actually extendable, so it can seat up to six people, which is really cool. Right here in the middle, we just have some flowers, some coasters, and then some little candles. And that's pretty much it for the kitchen, guys. Next up, we have our living room where we just like to relax, watch some of our favorite shows, and just have a good time with our guests. So let me show you guys some of the pieces that we have in here in detail. Okay, so we're gonna start in this corner over here. We just have a snake plant from Target, and then these two pieces that we got at a vintage shop. Let's keep that there, and we haven't hung frame yet so we just have it there on the floor and then over here on this side we have our sofa which we absolutely love we can't get enough of it it's super comfortable and we just have it with these couple of pillows and then the blankets just to add some coziness to it and then over here we have this rug from ikea which is super comfortable i really like it because it matches our whole aesthetic that we have going on with the grays and the neutrals and this sofa is actually from a place called modani here in houston 
Over here on this side, we have our mirror that we also got from Ikea. It's called the Hubbit mirror. Every time I'm getting ready, I always have to come over here and check my outfits before I leave somewhere. And then over here, I just have our flowers. And then next to the mirror, we have this little mushroom lamp that we also got from Ikea. Okay, moving on now, we have the balcony. So let's go ahead and check it out. We usually like to come out here to relax. Sometimes we even eat out here and just unwind and soak in the vibrant energy of the city. And then last but not least, for the living space area, we have my husband's partner over here. So this is where he works and spends the majority of his time. Now off to the bedroom area. Okay, so now we are in the bedroom. So as you can see, it's very minimal, but we like the nice clean look. So we're gonna start over here next to the bed. We have a little nightstand that we got from Ikea. And then on top of it, we have a little lamp. It's like a lantern from Ikea as well. And then a little candle because like I said, I love to have candles all over the apartment. And then some more flowers. I like that these last so long too and they look cute anywhere. Over here, a little vase storage type of thing where I like to put my earrings at night. Next, over here, we have our beautiful, lovely, plain bed, as you can see. So I say plain because, as you can see, there is no headboard or frame, whatever you call it. Whenever we first moved in, we didn't think it was necessary, and we kind of liked the look, the minimal look like this. But now, uh, we kind of both feel like we do need to get one, so that is something we definitely will look into soon. This area over here, we like to call the chill zone where we just like to have some downtime, use our computer, read a book, and then just relax a little. This lamp over here is from Ikea as well, which is really cool because you can adjust this little knob here and it goes up and down, so you can just adjust it to your liking. Stepping over to this side over here, we have this cute little library going on over here. And then this door over here is the door to our bathroom, so let's go ahead and check it out. a second because my hair was getting a little crazy so this is the sink area where we usually get ready and do our hair and then over here on this side we just have a little hand towel pop of color some more flowers and then this tray over here is like our little skincare setup that we have and we use on a daily basis a little spa hotel vibe so I really like it we just have some face towels facial spray and then these bombs from Aesop or Aesop however you say it and some q-tips and this tray is from home goods we're gonna quickly glimpse through the drawers that we have here so on this first one we have things that we use every day our deodorants and some skincare items that Brian and I use over here I just keep my makeup and some more skincare products <laughs> And then here, some more makeup, makeup brushes. Last one is some toiletries or hair products. And over here, under the sink, we have the storage space where we just keep a mix of things. We have some hair stuff here, some toiletries, and some cleaning supplies. Over here on this side, we have some more storage. I know that this bathroom has so much storage. So we just keep a lot more toiletries in here. Over here we have a cute little perfume stand which we got from Amazon. And on this side we keep our toothbrushes. We keep them on the cabinet so it's really cool that these things just stick on here. Easy to access. And under here we just have a little plant, toilet, trash can. And in here I like to keep some wipes and air freshener in case it smells a little funky. <laughs> that went on my face. Moving on, right along over here, we have these comfortable bathroom mats so that we don't slip whenever we get out of the shower. So this is what the shower looks like. And it's also a tub so we can fill it in and have a bubble bath. Over here on this side, we have these dispenser bottles that we got from Amazon which have made a huge difference in our bathroom because they make everything look super aesthetic and it just gives off more of that hotel vibe. Right here, we just have some 
Some more shower essentials and hygiene products. Now walking into our little walk-in closet. Let's take a moment and appreciate this beautiful color coordination that I have going on over here. So this is kind of like my little dress up room you can say where I just like to brainstorm my outfits and just get ready basically. So I'm going to show you guys a closer look of how I have everything organized. So as soon as you walk in right here to the left side, we have Brian's tops. He has his non-collared shirts over here. And then right above, he has his collared shirts with some sweatshirts. And then up there, we just have some storage boxes from Ikea where we keep items that we don't use too often. Next, over here, we have this middle section where I keep all of my tops and a lot of blazer coats, which as you can see are pretty thick. So they do take up a lot of space. So that is why I utilize this space so don't come after me saying that i'm taking up all the room i blame these coats for it <laughs> and by the way i do thrift a lot so a lot of the things you see in here are from the thrift store so maybe that is a future video that you guys would like to see from me because i do enjoy that a lot over here on this side i just keep some of my shorter bottoms like skirts and shorts and then right under my tops i've used that shelving space to put my shoes as you can see i've tried to color coordinate with the tops just to keep everything organized then over here on top of this drawer unit which is from ikea i have all of my purses and bags over here i like to keep some jewelry just everything easy access then up there we just have some accessories that we don't use too often so in this section a lot of dresses and long pieces up there we have some more storage boxes over here on this shelf we just keep some extra things some pants shoes down there and right here under my dresses i just keep some boots and then right here i have a sewing machine because i am in the process of learning how to sew and alter my own clothes and then over here we keep our luggages and that pretty much wraps up our little walk-in closet Coming right out of the closet, over here on this side, we have our linen closet. Whew. That was a little mission, not gonna lie. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you have any suggestions of what to do with some of the spaces that you saw, make sure you leave those in the comments below or comment what was your favorite part of the apartment. Other than that, thanks again for watching and see you guys in the next video.